Hi everybody, today's video is on how to teach your kids with dyslexia to read CBC words. Okay, first off, CBC words are consonant vowel consonant words. They always have a predictable sound each letter in the word. The A is always going to say A. Ah. This is the second step in learning to read after they've mastered their letter sounds, at least mostly mastered their letter sounds. And you can start with the most common letters like T, C, and the vowels. I learned these steps for teaching your child to read from a site called Dyslexia Improvements. A man in Australia named Michael released a lot of videos about four years ago, and it was the first time I found free information for parents. And he does charge for some of his videos, but I learned a lot from the ones that I watched. I will definitely put a card to his videos in my video right now. I suggest working with your child 10 to 15 minutes on this three to five times a week. If you wanna do it every day, that's great. Okay, here's a few tips for teaching your child CBC words. Number one, be very patient. Blending is extremely hard for kids with dyslexia. Sometimes they'll say the word correctly and then five minutes later, they can't get it. Some days they'll remember their little letter sounds and other times they'll need a reminder. Always use the phoneme sounds instead of the letter names. Don't call it TT, call it etc. It's really good when working on literacy with kids with dyslexia and ADHD to use a lot of their senses. Color, pictures, motion, in their tactile senses. It's also a good idea to start with CBC words that are nouns so that they can picture those things. Here are some different activities you can do to teach your child to read CBC words. First off, you can print them out on cards and you can cut these cards out and put them around the house or you can even make your own little flashcards and label everything in your house. And it can look kind of tacky, but at least your child is learning to read. I printed these out for my son on colored paper with colored ink and I put them in a notebook like a three ring binder and I would read them with him because sometimes he would forget the letter sounds and I would say the A says, you know, from Letter Factory. You could cut these out and use them like flashcards, but I would lose them if I cut them out. I put links to these free printables in the description of this video because I found it very hard to find free printables. I actually had to go to the Australia Google website to find free ones. These are not free, but I invested in them one Christmas and it's been really helpful. It was $40 to buy these word building blocks. What's great about these is that the vowels are all red and the consonants are all blue. One thing I really like doing with these letter blocks is doing word families or rhyming families. You could first have your child read the end of the word and then give them a block to add at the beginning and they would sound that out, man. And then another one and another one. Another thing I really like to do with my kids was to do finger paint on a tray and write in the finger paint. I bought this finger paint from the dollar store for 99 cents. I use this for letter sounds too. Like I would say, write the ah, and then they would write ah. I would ask them to erase the first letter and write pen. Really fun. The pack comes with four different colors. The last idea I have for you, I got off the internet and they said to write letters on straws and cut them into pieces, and then to string them on a pipe cleaner to make a word. You could also use letter beads. Aside from the 10 to 15 minutes a day that you work with them on this, you could have them watch the show Alpha Blocks as they work with blending words together. And I put a link for a video that they do on just CBC words in the description. In conjunction with doing these specific steps for literacy and learning to decode, you also want to be reading to them and talking to them, singing with them. I found it really helpful for my younger two sons to have them watch nursery rhymes on YouTube. Research shows that nursery rhymes and songs are extremely helpful for kids with dyslexia. Okay, that's it for now. I hope this was helpful. If you have a child with dyslexia or ADHD, please let me know what your situation is. Or if you're not sure if they have dyslexia and you're just concerned that they might be having trouble with reading, then go ahead and use these techniques because it can be helpful. I'm trying to reach 1,000 subscribers by my 40th birthday, which is March 31st. So please subscribe to my channel and share it with anybody you know who would benefit from it.